okay so hello everyone i hope you guys are doing well okay and practicing the questions that are over a lot of coding pl uh, platforms that you are going to have and also you guys are watching my videos regularly if you are not just make sure that you will watch them regularly so that uh, because i am just going to upload and i have already uploaded a lot of you know quality video tutorials in each of the problems where i used to explain the logic approaches and how to get the idea to solve each problem you know the basic intuition that you need to have okay so in this problem uh, we are just going to discuss longest square streak in an array okay so uh, like as the problem name suggests you need to find a something you know square streak and that should be longest uh, also uh, this problem is the part of this weekly contest 323 like uh, if you haven't given this uh, contest try to solve the problems the problems are interesting and also i'm going to discuss all these uh, problems and you are going to find uh, the video solutions for each of these problems in the playlist and i'm, the, I'm going to share the playlist in the description section of the video so make sure that you will just access each of the videos if you have if you are not able to solve the problems okay okay so uh, let's begin you are given an integer array nums a subsequence of nums is called a square streak if the length of the subsequence is at least two and after sorting the subsequence each element except the first element square of the previous number you need to return the length of longest square streak or minus one if there is no square streak okay so uh, let's understand this problem with the help of example so i'm going to pick up this example 436 16 okay 4 3 6 and we have 16 8 2 okay so the problem is this is going to ask you find the longest square streak first you need to choose the subsequences okay so let's say the length of the array is n so there are uh, many 2 power n subsequences like including the non including the empty subsequence also uh, okay so uh, there are a lot of subsequences okay so uh, you have to choose any non empty subsequence and size of the subsequence should be greater than 1 okay and after uh, sorting this uh, subsequence sort the subsequence if you sort this subsequence and you get the elements as a1 a2 a3 a4 let's say you have you got these four elements then uh, these four elements will satisfy the condition like uh, a2 must be equal to a1 square, a3 must be equal to a2 square, and a4 must be equal to a3 square. Okay, like for each element in this uh, subsequence that you have chosen, and after sorting the subsequences, like uh, every uh, element must be the square of the previous element. That is the main logic that you need to uh, like. Uh, you need to consider that. And you need to find the length of longest such subsequence that is present in this array. Okay, so how do you do this problem? Okay, uh, like just forget about all that. Let's try to analyze what is the uh, approach, what is the answer for the current example. Okay, so you can see if you will pick up the subsequence 2, 4, and 16, like you will pick up subsequence some, something like this 4, 16, and 2. This is the subsequence. Okay, so this is the subsequence. Now you will sort this subsequence. So 2, 4, and 16 is the sorted subsequence. Okay, this is the sorted subsequence. Now you can see each element 4 is satisfying the criteria as 2 square is 4, and 16 is nothing but 4 square. Now you can see this is a, a valid subsequence and its size is 3 which is greater than 1. Okay, so this can be the maximum length of subsequence which is 3 and on uh, like yeah we have the answer as 3 also this is the maximum length of su subsequence. Okay, that is a valid subsequence according to the given conditions. So there can be a, a many subsequences you know that is also going to satisfying the criteria. So you need to find the length of the longest subsequence. So uh, what should be your approach? How you are going to think about that? Okay, so let's just start with a, a solution approach. 
and the pretty much good approach is over here this dynamic program okay now you guys must be uh, wondering why i've just jumped directly into the dynamic programming so yeah if you have done a lot of problems uh, over this uh, dynamic programming then uh, like this problem comes in the category of basics of dynamic programming this is not a you know not a big uh, thought like not a big logic that you need to consider yeah if you need to know how very hard dp or something like that to solve this problem this problem is basically a part of this basics of dynamic programming so uh, like how the current answer depends upon the previous answer okay so now uh, like in the previous example uh, our answer is 2 4 16 okay you can see 16 depends on 4 simple like 16 is going to depend upon 4 and 4 is also going to depend upon 16 okay sorry 4 is going to depend upon 2 sorry I'm really sorry so you can see each element is going to depend upon the previous element so that is the main idea that uh, we, we are going to use it uh, one more thing uh, like there you can also get a you know not a, any valid subsequence of size greater than 1 okay so in that case you need to report minus 1 also okay so now let's understand how this uh, DP will help you okay so uh, first approach that you need to have is dynamic programming and second you need to think about sorting okay why I'm talking about sorting uh, the reason behind this is uh, when you pick up a subsequence like in the previous case when you pick up the subsequence 4 16 and 2 like we have the subsequence 4 16 and 2 okay so it doesn't matter like uh, like uh, which order the like in which order the elements are finally we are just sorting it right so uh, like and finally we are just sorting the chosen subsequence and we are just finding out the answers right whether it satisfies the given criteria so it is better to sort the initial sort the array that is given to you initially like if you sort the array the problem uh, boils down to very simple approach of dynamic program okay so you don't have to choose the subsequence then you have to sort it so just sort the entire array and when you pick up the elements from the sorted array as it is it, it must be the part of the original uh, array which is a subsequence so you don't have to worry about the you know whether i've chosen a correct subsequence or not okay it doesn't matter so if you sort the array it works fine okay so yeah we are almost done with the sorting explanation let's try to explain this dynamic programming okay so let's say we, uh, you are at the current element x current element okay now you need to check where, like whether there exists a square root of x okay whether this is square root of x exists or not if square root of x already exist previously like okay so uh, suppose you are uh, you have found this element x at ith position okay so if square root of x already exist uh, on some position some index j which is strictly less than i okay and like you have just found square root of x okay so you have just you're just you're just going to maximize dp of x equals max of dp of x comma and it should be something like this 1 plus dp of square root of x okay so so when you are at ith element you just have to do nothing uh, if it's a square root exist you just need to maximize dp of x dp of x is the ith state of the dynamic programming which contains the element x okay so let us define dp of x also if you guys are getting some problems dp of x is maximum length of subsequence whose last whose last element is x okay so in the previously we have the elements as 2 4 and 16 okay so when you get the value as 2 you can see there doesn't exist uh, square root of 2 okay so in that case you will initialize uh, I'm going to write down over here dp of 2 as 1 so you know the maximum length of subsequence whose last element is 2 is going to be 1 and when you are at dp of 4 you can see maximum length of subsequence whose last element of 4 is 
2 actually because it's uh, square root of 4 exists which is 2 okay so you will just maximize dp of 4 which is uh, going to be 2 so you write down 2 over here similarly you will write down dp of 16 also and square root of 16 exists which is 4 so which is you know 2 plus 1 is going to be 3 hence dp of 16 is going to be 3 so the approach is simple first you will sort the array then you will just apply a dynamic programming and you you need to just iterate in the sorted array from left to right and whenever you are at ith position and you have the element as x just check it out if square root of x exists if a square root of x exists then you just need to use this condition that's it okay so let's move out to the coding part okay so uh, yeah so let us write down some of the statements that would be better for you for you guys okay so i'm going to first sort the array okay now we will initialize answer with minus one there, there there can be conditions like we are not going to get the valid array so in that case you need to you know you need to just uh, report minus one also okay so this is the dp uh, map you know hash map so a dp of x will denote max length of subsequence whose last element is x okay now let's iterate in this nums note that our array is sorted now so first of all it uh, length of subsequence can be one so let's write down dp of x equals max of dp of x in one so let's check it out if the square root of a uh, current element exists or not uh, so if uh, first we'll find the square root of x then we'll check if uh, it exists in our dp or not that is if it exists in our uh, if it exists for uh, for any index which is less than the current index that is it must exist in the hash map dp if that is okay then we'll just maximize our answer that is uh, dp of x which is max of dp of x and 1 plus dp of square rooted value also if dp of x is greater than 1 we are doing in this one because length of the subsequence must be at least 2 if that is okay then we are just maximizing our answer and when we are done with all the of the elements we are just returning the answer that is the main concept so here i am just checking if uh, square root of x exist earlier then maximize our answer okay so let's submit this code and check it out if everything works well yeah okay so yeah so this is a basic dp problem and if you guys still have any doubts you can uh, tell me in the comment section of the video i would love to help you guys as well okay and also please do check the uh, dynamic programming playlist which is present uh, which is present over my channel that will help you uh, a lot guys for improving your dynamic programming concept as well as problem solving skills okay so thank you for watching this video and please do not forget to subscribe like my channel subscribe it and all that okay because uh, you know i'm going to upload a lot of quality video tutorials from now on so make sure that you just subscribe it okay thank you for watching this video